excuse me? Um... Wanna head back?
Let's head back. Morning! Crowded as ever today, huh? How do you like being packed in like sardines, city style? <laughs> I bet you've had enough. I don't mean to joke around. I just don't know what to do. I get anxious unless I'm doing something, yet here I am suddenly with nothing to do. It's so awful just waiting for the results, isn't it? It's so worrying. You too, huh? Uh, of course you are. Sorry for asking such a weird question. I guess all we can do is wait. I wonder how Shiho's condition is too. Man, all this heavy talk first thing in the morning. Both of us need to switch gears. your time. Would you like?
Now then. Time right now? I got a chance to talk to this girl the other day. We had an amazing conversation after I brought up some of the stuff I read about. We're gonna go out somewhere together soon. Well, don't get ahead of yourself because it happened to go well. Look, knowledge isn't enough. You need proficiency to adapt on the fly. You also need kindness to be accepted and guts to be honest and direct. Plus charm to draw people to you. The quality of your character says a lot about you. So it's important to better yourself every day. Really? But it takes so much work. But I'll do it if it means I'll get a girlfriend. I guess I'll start by showering every day. I hear girls prefer a dude who's hygienic. Hey, this applies to you too. You get it. That's a good attitude to have. Morning! I just remembered. Thank you. 
This is it. Correct! Please head to the exam room. What?
By the way, Take care.
Thanks. Get going?
right. Sorry. The rest is on you. Thank you. 
Oh, hey. Hey. Wanna get going? Ah, you're back. Hey.
Morning. <sighs> the board meeting is the day after tomorrow. I wonder if Kamoshida really had a change of heart. What if we failed? Uh, that's all I've been able to think about. Avenging Shiho and getting your expulsions revoked? It's all resting on this one chance. Of course I'm worried, but the only thing I can do now is believe. And wait, sorry. Thanks for listening. We should get to school. Hi, everyone. Let's hear it. Um... This is it. That's correct.
Hello? Hello? Huh? Take care.
back. I'll just add this. Time right now? All right, then. Thanks. Hey. Oh, hey. 
Hey. Wanna get going? I'm sorry I can't offer more reassurance, but he should have the change of heart. Let's just believe in that while we wait for tomorrow. Hey, hey! Wanna head back? <sighs> this is no good. What's with the sudden morning assembly? Oh, I bet it's about that girl that jumped the other day. They don't have to tell us not to commit suicide. There was that weird calling card too, so I guess the teachers are freaking out. We're lucky that morning practice got canceled though. I feel like I'm gonna faint if this takes forever. <sighs>
Let's begin this school-wide morning assembly. As you all know, a tragic event took place the other day. Thankfully, we have been informed that she has pulled through, but it will take time until she recovers. Everyone here has a bright future ahead. I implore that you rethink the importance of life and... <laughs> Mr. Kamashita, what's the... I... Uh, have been reborn. That is why... I will confess everything to you all. Huh? What's wrong with Mr. Komushita? What's this about? Confess? Did the volleyball team do something? I have repeatedly done things that were unbecoming of a teacher. Verbally abusing students, physically abusing my team, and sexually harassing female students. I am the reason why Shiho Suzui tried to kill herself. Sexual harassment? What? Why would he oh, say that himself? Uh, he is Volleyball the team? worst. Really? Physical abuse? I thought of the school as my own castle. There were even students that I sentenced to expulsion simply because I didn't like them. I will, of course, rescind those. I am truly sorry for putting innocent youths through such horrible acts. I am an arrogant, shallow, and shameful person. No, I'm worse than that. I will take responsibility. I kill myself for it. What? Did he just say that? Did we kill himself? Mr. Kamoshida is, so uh, not well. Mr. He, Kamoshida, please tired. get off the stage for now. Everyone, return to your classes. I... Don't run, you bastard! Shiho's still alive, even after all the things that made her want to die. You have no right to run from this! You're right. You're absolutely right. I should be punished under the law and atone for my crimes. I did horrible things to Takamaki-san as well. In return for giving Suzui-san a position on the team, I... I tried to force her into having relations. Disgusting. Ugh. For a position on the team? It feels so That's bad horrible. for Takamaki-san. So the rumors weren't true. As of today, I will resign from my position as an instructor and turn myself in. <laughs> Someone please call the police! The police? Is he for real? He's gonna get wow. arrested? This morning's assembly is over! Return to your classes immediately! Isn't this just like what that calling card said? Does this mean the Phantom Thieves thing was for real? Was something done to Kamoshida? Come on, there's no way you could steal someone's heart. But why else would he start saying things like he'll kill himself or turn himself in? Maybe because it almost got leaked? Don't they go easier on you if you turn yourself in? I wonder what happened. Who knows? <laughs> but man, Kamashita turned out to be one sick bastard. Hey, is this for real? He's turning himself in just like that? What's going to happen this to the ball? This is gonna be a big Return to your classrooms at once! His heart really did change. Seems like it. But was this really for the best? You mean the police stuff? Well, that's true. Huh? What the? Takamaki san, I'm sorry. Huh? We all knew, but we pretended we didn't. Takamaki-san, I had you all wrong. I'm sorry that I spread rumors about you. I didn't know at all. Oh, Kamashita was forcefully pushing himself on you. It must have been so hard for you. I'm sure there's a ton of people who want to apologize to you. We're so sorry. No, it's okay. The same goes for me, too. Besides, that's all in the past now. Hey! You there! Return to class at once! Well, see you later then. I can't.
can't apologize enough for what I did to you. I swear I'll make it up to you someday. Looks like Kamoshida ain't the only one that had a change of heart. Man, I'm glad for you. Looks like those weird rumors are gonna go away. My thing doesn't really matter. We made Kamoshida apologize about Shiho. That's more than enough for me. You should hurry and tell her about it then. Yeah. I totally freaked out. He really did have a change of heart. And we were lucky his mind didn't get messed up either. <laughs> this was an A-plus job. Does this mean that they won't have a mental shutdown even if their palace disappears? I see. So we need to persuade the shadow without killing it, and then send it back to its real self. Our targets won't undergo a cognitive collapse if we do that. So we can get him to confess with no bad stuff? Hey, that works for me. Do you have to be so loud? Eh, don't worry about it. So, how'd it go? With Shiho, I mean. She's regained consciousness. For real? It was only for a little bit, but I got to talk to her. I was able to tell her that Kamoshida admitted to what he did. Shiho, she... She told me she was sorry. Looks like she found out that I was flirting with Kamoshida for her sake. And here I was, wanting to apologize to her. Kamoshida's at fault for all this. I know. Shiho's mom is thinking of transferring her to another school after she recovers. The whole sexual harassment and attempted suicide... People will label her after that. Sounded like Shiho had the same idea, too. Ah, it's gonna get lonely. But I think it's for the best. I'm sure it'll be hard if she stays here. She's alive. You can see her anytime. I need to change, too. That aside, I was surprised you could hold yourself back against Kamoshida's shadow. It wasn't like that. I just wanted Kamoshida to apologize himself. You're so kind, Lady On. No matter how much of a shitbag he was, finishing him off would have left a bad aftertaste, huh? Huh? <laughs> That's not it. I think revenge is better served if I make him repent. Realizing what he's done, he'll grovel for forgiveness the rest of his life. You know? I just believe there are fates worse than death. Holy shit. Uh, anyways, that's all settled. But, you know, there was one more thing I was wondering about that castle. Why was Kamoshida the only one who had that metaverse thing? It isn't necessarily limited to him. It's something anyone could have if their heart became warped from their desires. Anyone. Wanna check it out? Not right now. We better lay low for a while. People are still gonna be talking about Kamoshida. Then again, it's totally impossible for someone to find out what we did at his palace. Yeah, about that, weird rumors about you guys are already going around. Stuff like you got together and threatened Kamoshida with something close to physical violence. The hell? People aren't going to easily believe that phantom thieves really exist. The calling card's being treated like it was a prank by someone who knew what Kamoshida was doing. Hmm, makes sense. We're the ones who did it, and I still don't completely believe it myself. <laughs> let's wait for things to settle down for the time being. Anyways, let's check how much this metal can be sold for. It'd be better if we pawned it off ASAP. Ooh, got a hit! Wait, 30,000 yen? That's all a gold medal's worth? Remember that time in middle school? I lent you some money. There's no way I borrowed 30,000 yen from you. Wouldn't it be around that much with compounded interest? Interest my ass! I'm not saying that I'm taking all of it. I mean, it's your fault for not paying me back all these years. It's just common sense. Ah, damn it. <laughs> I agree on laying low and keeping an eye on the situation. However, you dragged me into this. It would be nonsense not to celebrate a successful mission. 
I guess we could blow this dirty money on something fun. Discussions among phantom thieves are to take place over luxurious food. How about it? Hey, wait! Ah, uh, I guess it's fine. There's somewhere I want to go then. Where's that? It's a place Shiho and I have been wanting to go for a while. I owe money, so I can't complain. You good with that? We can eat something like that whenever we want. I'll leave it to your discretion as well, Lady On. I'll call and check the prices later then. When should we go? Want to do it soon, like tomorrow? Why don't we go on the last day of the holidays? It'll help energize us when school life starts up again the day after. Then, uh, the fifth, on Children's Day. So, who's going to sell this? Leave that to us. We know a store that'll buy anything, don't we? Okay, I'll leave that to you guys. Ah, you're back. No, that one is a fake. It's just a byproduct of his cognition. The real metal should still be in his possession. Kamashita will never be proud of that once-in-a-lifetime gold medal ever again. Depending on how you look at it, that punishment might be even worse than death for him. <sighs> Yo. Hey! Oh! Oh! 
Let's head back. Sorry, I kind of pressured you into doing this. And now to our next topic, Fall from Grace, the story of a dishonored Olympic medalist. Just recently, a high school coach confessed at an assembly that he had been repeatedly abusing students. Given his prior Olympic achievements, this has caused quite a stir. What caused this habitual offender to suddenly confess these heinous crimes to his entire school? The police are hoping that the upcoming interrogations will bring light to this question. Isn't this... My friends would come back from practice with bruises all the time. It was scary, but I'm relieved that the abuse is finally going to end now. He would touch me and stuff all the time. I'm glad I don't have to deal with that sexual harassment anymore. There were always rumors, sure. Not many people believed them, though. Like, I'm totally shocked they were actually true. At least now I can go to school without worrying. Knew it. This is your school, isn't it? Huh. Things might be getting turbulent at school, but you need to just keep your head down, all right? More importantly, keep those hands moving. I've got some more stuff I need you to do. Listen up. Now listen up. What do you want to do? Make sure you close up. Can I talk?
Make sure to do the dishes. Just do it. Don't get cocky with me. Welcome. Am I interrupting something? Not at all. The cause of the runaway train incident in the subway the other day still has not been found. Police are hurrying to solve the matter as it may relate to the rise in psychotic breakdown incidents. Oh. Is that the thing everyone's been talking about? Doesn't it make you curious? People who were living normal lives suddenly went mad or deranged out of the blue. Not to mention that it's happening one after another. Could they really be coincidental? Hmm. Leaving that aside, what do you have? Hmm. I'll have the house blend, please. Are you a part-timer? I'm surprised this place can afford one. Uh, no, not exactly. Are you a high school student? Where do you attend? Uh. <laughs> it's Shujin Academy. Oh, someone I know goes there as well. I've heard that things are rough right now. A teacher named Kamoshida confessed his crimes like he was a completely different person, supposedly. And it happened all of a sudden one day. Can a person's mental state change so easily? Huh. <sighs> Is my drink ready yet? Coming right up. All right, today's the day we turn in that metal for cash. You know some place that'll buy it off you, right?
See ya. What were those detectives doing there? More importantly, aren't you curious about what's in the bag? There's no harm in a little peek. Come on, let's open it up. A real gun? Wait, I think it's just a model. It's incredible, though. Miles ahead of the one Ryuji had. There's something weird about that place. Hey, I just had a great idea. We should totally buy this gun from him later. I mean, it's perfect. Something this real looking would work wonders in the metaverse. Anyway, he told you to bring it back the next time you came, right? You should try striking a deal with him when we go to return it. about it. That's pretty amazing, huh? I didn't think we'd actually be able to do it. And yet, look at us now. This calls for a celebration. Let's meet in front of Shibuya Station at noon tomorrow. Don't be late. Oh, and did you pawn off that medal? You didn't forget, right? Huh? Why? I get it. It's because you sold it for a lot more than we were expecting, isn't it? You should be really excited about the place I chose, by the way. I'm sure everyone's gonna love it. Well, see you guys tomorrow. Ah, a restaurant of Lady Anne's choosing. Finally, a decent meal. Hey, what do you think we're gonna be eating? Oh, I could go for some Wagyu beef. It better be grade A. In any case, I'm surely looking forward to it. Yeah. 
Make sure you close up. <laughs> so good. No wonder Lady An chose this place. Of course it's good. This is a famous hotel after all. Oh yeah, I heard that the police are coming to interview some people at school. That's troublesome. Our names are gonna come up for sure. People are spreading all sorts of rumors about us and Kamoshida. But we got them pumped up. I keep hearing stuff like, the Phantom Thieves really stole his heart. I think most people don't believe it, but some of them actually seem grateful. Look at this. The Phantom Aficionado website? Well done, Phantom Thieves. Now I can keep going too. Thank you for giving us hope. Pretty cool, huh? I was just desperate to deal with my own problems, but seeing people saying all this feels... strange. Yeah. Hey, what do we do now? Well, of course I'm gonna eat, but... <gasps> this place has a time limit! Oh crap! We only got an hour to eat! Just 50 minutes left! Oh, I'm not gonna finish all the beef dishes at this pace! I need to eat my way through the entire dessert menu! Look after our stuff. We'll snag something for you guys, too. Don't worry. Oh, man. God melts in my mouth. Seriously? Only meat? Now, where should I start? And she's all about the cake! Oh, happy! <laughs> hey, calories. Shut up! How much do you think one of these costs? I'll never get the chance to do this again! Mm, the Wilton Hotel Cake Buffet! I'd heard rumors, but I never thought it'd be so amazing! <laughs> and where's our share? I didn't really know what you'd want, so I just grabbed you some beans. B beans? There were some pretty bizarre things there, too, so we got you a variety of those. Fried bananas, preserved eggs, and some kind of beans. M more beans? We put so much on the plate that it got all mixed up. But it should probably still taste good. This is just plain grotesque. Let's go. These two just don't know what fine dining means. We'll show them. Leave it all to me. You guys watch our things while we're gone. Wait patiently for our return. Mm. Oh, it's like a meaty explosion in my mouth. Oh, this part's cream cheese! They're not even listening. As I'd expect from the buffet at a top-class hotel, the ingredients and variety of dishes are crazy good. There's a reason it costs 8,000 yen. They have a lot here, but fish should come first. Let's fill our plate with all sorts of fish. Which table do you think they're at? Thank <laughs> you. 
Ooh, look! There's the fish! I'd prefer it raw, but grilled is great, too. Have you heard, my dear? The news about that Kamoshida fellow was absolutely dreadful. Oh, right. That teacher at Shujin Academy? Caught doing such indecent acts. Shameful, really. Hold on a sec. And they still haven't managed to solve those horrible psychotic breakdown episodes, have they? Oh, I wish they wouldn't let themselves be distracted by such a tawdry scandal. Perhaps it's a sign of how peaceful this country is. I honestly pity those poor Shujin students, though. Hmm. It sounds like the Kamashita incident is the talk of the town. Hmm? Shoot! They noticed you! Just grab some food and act natural. On the plus side, we'll get to eat the food later. Oh, how did a child like this end up in here? I certainly hope you didn't bring friends. I prefer my meals to remain hooligan-free. Thank you very much. Come, let us go. What's so bad about kids coming to enjoy a buffet? Hmm. I wonder how the other people here are reacting to the news. Let's get some more food and listen in. Maybe there are more people we can eavesdrop on at other tables. It looks even bigger and more delicious. This giant sweet. <laughs> I got distracted. News travels quick. It's already all over the internet. You know, the story about how Kamashita got his ass kicked by some world reforming heroes. It doesn't sound like a serious story to me. Some of the details are pretty far fetched. Don't worry about it. We just have to do what they tell us to do. It's all rumors made up by school kids anyway. If it's gripping news, who cares if it's not true? So they don't believe themselves. But they're making up stories to make the Phantom Thieves seem real. And they're doing this in front of the actual Phantom Thieves. Hmm? Well, act fast and get some food! And make sure it's got a lot of whipped cream! What's wrong? Ah, uh, nothing. I thought some weird kid was looking at us, that's all. Why don't we go? It's almost time for the meeting. Well, that was rude. Did you hear him? He said you were weird. Hmm. I wonder how the other people here are reacting to the news. Let's get some more food and listen in. Hmm? 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 Oh, meat! I'm no Ryuji, but a meal is just not the same if you don't have any. I got distracted. When you really look at it, he's just an ex-athlete who overestimated himself. He should have just accepted his lot in life and quietly done his job as a teacher. It's not even an incident we can take seriously. The whole story is pretty ridiculous. We should probably look into it. But we can also just let the low-ranking scrubs handle it. Look into? I guess they're investigating Kamoshida? They don't sound very enthusiastic about it, though. Hmm? Gah! Grab some food! Ah, get the part that's not too fatty. He's gonna be arriving soon. We don't want to keep him waiting, so we better get going too. What is he going to discuss with the higher-ups? Well, I'm sure it's more important than lunch. They were dressed quite well, but they still looked pretty shady to me. Hmm. I wonder how the other people here are reacting to the news. Let's get some more food and listen in. cornerstone of every great meal! Sorry, I got a bit carried away there. So, the ratings for the news were really that good? It was because it was about that teacher who sexually harassed his student, huh? Was it Kamoshida? It's all about how you frame it. You've got to cater to the idiotic public. Ratings go up when you show them crude, sensational news and make it easy for them to understand. How can he be so insensitive? A student almost killed herself because of that Kamoshida. By the way, do you think these sudden changes of heart might be real? Well, that's... Hmm? Quick, grab some food! Oh, and don't forget the crispy bits. So, because he had a sudden change of heart, he just confessed to all his crimes? <laughs> Who knows? 
Sorry, but it's time. I have to go. I'll call you again after the meeting. A sudden change of heart, huh? I suppose I can't blame him for seeing it that way. Don't think there's anyone else we can listen in on, but it's shocking. So many of the adults here don't seem like nice people. Now, according to what we heard, it seems most adults aren't very interested in the news about Kamoshida. Well, now that we've got a nice variety of food on our plates, let's head back to the others. <laughs> you brought a ton back! What do you think about coming up against such ritzy food? You say that, but you brought tons of food back. Well, I guess if you don't want it, I'll just... Hands off! I'll eat it all later! Don't you think you're eating too much, Mona? Mm. There's no... Mm. Knowing when we'll get to come here again. Sure, but you guys brought back loads of food. It'd be a shame to let it all go to waste. Why don't you help them out, Ryuji? Well, we should both help. Oh, me? I'm way too stuffed. I couldn't possibly help. Yeah, stuffing your face with cake. Whatever, let's deal with this ourselves. There's still more? Don't give up. Let's keep at it. We... we did it. Oh yeah. This is a victory... for all of us. Oh, is your stomach the size of a freaking palace? Good job, you guys. How about one last dish to cleanse your palates? I recommend the seasonal tart. The grapefruit has both alluring sweetness and a tangy sourness. Uh, stop. I don't want to hear about sour stuff. Uh, uh, this isn't good. I gotta go to the bathroom. Well, me too. Please carry me gently. My, look at that table. Come now, pay them no attention. I'm sure they must not normally have the chance to eat such exquisite food. I can only imagine what their parents must be like. What was that? <laughs> we don't got time for that. Come on, let's go. Ugh, I'm stuffed. I totally panicked when I saw the closed for cleaning sign at the bathrooms. You were talking big about eating until you puked, but you really did puke. Are you some kind of moron? Hey, same goes for you. What floor was that restaurant on? We came up to get here, so it has to be on a lower floor, right? What the? There's still no update on the case. Not yet. Excuse me, but why are you so involved? It's not something you should be concerned with. I don't care about your opinion, you incompetent buffoon. When I say pick up the pace, you do it! Hey, you're cutting in line! What do you want? We're in a hurry. Oh, I'm sorry. So you can butt in front of other people if you're in a hurry? It seems the customer base has changed since I was here last. Have they started a daycare? What? Sir, we don't have time for this. I know. Don't bother with them. What the hell was with that bossy guy? Shouldn't we head back down? Yeah, but... That dick really pissed me off. He wasn't even hiding the fact that he looks down on everyone. Don't lose your temper over this. I just can't forgive shitty adults like that.
What's wrong? You not feeling good? He almost never eats well after all. Plus, I'm always stuck eating canned cat food. Yeah, that sir bullshit makes me sick. Damn it! What took you so long? Why are you all pissy? Sorry. I had a run-in with some woman a second ago. She bumped into me, but then said it was all my fault when she dropped her plate. <sighs> Sounds like a real bitch. Yeah. Thanks, though. But... the restaurant workers all looked at me with this disapproving expression. I wonder if we're out of place here. Hey, Morgana. What is it? Anyone could have a palace, yeah? Anyone with a strong, distorted desire. Same for them having a change of heart if their treasure gets stolen? That would be the case. Why are you bringing this up all of a sudden? We had trouble earlier, too. These selfish shitheads who just look down on everyone else. I was just wondering if we'd be able to change those kinds of people, too. You mean, you want to continue as the Phantom Thieves? I've been thinking. We put a lot of work into changing Kamoshida's heart, but nobody believes in the Phantom Thieves. Plus, those guys who had no other choice but to just deal with it are thanking us. Us, of all people! I... I agree. If we ignore people who are in trouble, I'd go back to being the same as I was before. Well, that's true. You're under my tutelage. There's nothing we can't accomplish as Phantom Thieves. Shouldn't we be able to help him out? But that means we'll have to fight shadows again, doesn't it? Indeed. That can't be avoided. Eh, I'm sure we'll manage. <laughs> right? Hm. Even if you guys are still just fledglings, this means we're an actual organization now. Fledglings? <laughs> That's actually pretty fitting for us. All right, it's settled. We're gonna catch all these shitty adults by surprise and make ourselves known to the world. Are you okay being our leader? No objections here. I can't handle all that responsibility stuff. Where's my say in this? But Lady Ahn made the recommendation, so I'll allow it. Well, should we decide on a name for our group? Yeah, I just went with Phantom Thieves of Hearts last time, but don't you think a real name would be cooler? Ooh, I've got it. I want it to be something both cute and luxurious sounding. Let me see. How about the diamonds? <laughs> I'm getting the real Little League baseball feel from it. Well then, here's my suggestion. How about Tilefish Poilé? Tile... Uh, what? That's what I ate earlier. It's commemorative, no? Hell no, you idiot! Uh, you decide for us. Huh. That's not bad at all. A good name. For a rookie. We going with that? Well, now that the name's set, who's our next target? There are tons of rotten adults and all. Why not just stick to targeting big names? Yeah, something along those lines. If we go after some bigwig, it's gotta get on the news, right? Don't you think more people would believe in us if we did that? That's not a bad idea. 
For you, Ryuji. True. If we become better known, we might be able to give courage to a lot more people. I don't really like the idea of just picking someone out of the blue, though. Let's narrow it down to someone we can all agree on, then. Hmm. So we need a big wig we decide on unanimously. I like that unanimous decision part. It's like we're making some kind of pact. Now then, this is the official formation of the Phantom Thieves Organization. Oh no! Our time for the buffet ran out. I guess we'll just have to talk more tomorrow. Another world in which people's distorted cognitions take shape? Stealing treasure to change hearts? And on top of that, a talking cat told you all this. Honestly speaking, that all sounds absurd. It's hard to believe that this is even worth listening to. Still, it can't be considered nonsense when parts of it align with Kamoshida's confession. The same goes for the testimonies of the officers who arrested you. But so be it. At any rate, you mentioned something more important. These two other accomplices, besides this talking cat thing that appeared in your story. From what you've been telling me, they're students at the same school, aren't they? Very well, I'll leave it at that. Let's continue on. The questioning's not over anyway. If you are making this up, the cracks in your story will prove it. The next to receive a calling card was this individual, a master of Japanese arts, Ichiryusai Matarame. It's even more incomprehensible than Kamoshida as to why this man was targeted. Where did you come to know him? And how did you learn of his crimes when you weren't a victim of them? Start by telling me what you all schemed.
I should write something.